new best friend. What do you mean? Look what I have. With a little help from the internet, your paper is all ready to go. All you have to do is change the name on the top to yours, and your worries are over. But wouldn't that be cheating? Fine, you think it over. I'll be nearby, waiting for you. Oh, I know. I'm so frustrated right now. My mom is making me save up my own money to buy the new case for my phone. I mean, I didn't mean to drop it. What's the big deal? Yeah, what's the big deal? What? Who are you? Just someone with some uh, helpful advice. About what? Uh, about the phone case. You know where your mom keeps her purse. Don't you? Yeah. She'll never miss a few dollars. Mm -hmm. Are you telling me to steal? More like a loan. A permanent loan. <laughs> oh no! My mom loves this thing. Uh oh, that's a bummer. Who are you? Oh, well, it's just in the neighborhood. Looks like you need some help. Well, yeah, my mom. This penguin sculpture broke. Easy! Blame it on your sister. What? You mean lie? Do you want your problem solved or not? So I was at the best party last night. Oh, I wish I could have been there. Anything interesting happened? Well, I did see that new girl, but I don't know if I should say anything. Hello, ladies. This sounds like it'll be a juicy story. What? Who are you? Yeah, haven't I seen you somewhere before? Never mind that. Time for some gossip. The gossip is wrong. I don't want to make that girl look bad. What she doesn't know won't hurt her. So, I finally finished my paper, but I was really tempted just to copy something off the internet. It's so hard not to. I know. I actually thought about taking money from my mom's purse today. What is up with that? You're telling me. I broke something of my mom's and I almost blamed it on my sister. Yeah, I almost gossiped about this girl from my school. What are we going to do? You know, didn't we just learn a lesson in confirmation about how to resist temptation? You're right. It's in the book of Ephesians. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Well, it sounds like we know what to do. Yeah, let's put on the armor of God. Yeah! A breastplate of righteousness. The belt of truth. The shield of faith. And finally, the sword of the spirit. The, the sword of God. The word of God. Hey guys, this show is great. <laughs> so, we meet again. Who wants to watch something inappropriate? Ah! In the name of Jesus, be gone, Satan. Wait, what? No! The armor of God wins again.